Welcome to the Life on Your Terms podcast. In this episode, we're going to talk about these beautiful things, how to become more of a reader in your business and life. I know so many of my clients have goals uh, to read more, and they struggle with reading and bringing books back into their life. Um, so I want to talk about my practice as well as strategies that have worked for some of my clients um, and how you can actually start reading again and enjoy it. Before we start, I am recording this episode on a video as well as it will be on audio. There is a candle right next to me and I almost burned my hair. I could smell burning hair right before I started this episode. So I'm fine, but I'm going to watch out. Um, and I'm showing my beautiful books that I have in my hand. Um, I had been a reader for my entire life. I loved reading um, as a little girl. Uh, I loved, I think I excelled in college just specifically because I loved reading and writing. And that was obviously very important. Um, but even when I lived in Washington, D.C., when I would work at my job, I would go get a coffee on the weekends and read for hours. Uh, I remember going to Georgetown uh, when I was in Washington, D.C., and just sitting at the cafe for hours or in Adams Morgan. I just, I've just constantly been reading. And honestly, even when I didn't have a lot of money, buying a brand new book, it was like a present. It was a gift for me. Um, but it wasn't the book itself that was the gift. It was the gift of time that I was going to give myself to read it and just have, I would honestly laugh at my books and cry on my books and have epiphanies on my books. And I know for so many people, um, if you're listening to this podcast, you're into personal growth. You, you don't want a fixed mindset. You, we, we want growth in our life. And we really recognize that these beautiful packages of books is like someone's fucking life wisdom, like in a book or someone's like major, like life's work in a book. And so books are, I always say like they give these rapid, uh, yeah, instant miracles and rapid changes and growth for us because we don't, someone else did all that work and then they just wrote it down. So I know that I'm a reader, but what about you? Are you wanting to be reading more in your life? Um, I have a few things for you to really think about. So I love all my clients, love you guys. And most of the time we're doing goal setting right at the start of the coaching program when I'm just going deeper and deeper into what's a goal for people? What do they really want? You know, what's something that's important for them? But 80, 90% of the time, people write down, I want to read more. I want to get back to reading. We've put reading at the back burner in order to do the next sale or the next outreach or the next project. Like we're in productivity mode. Um, and yet the reading has gone on the back burner. Um, and we're not making the connection that actually reading will create more productivity or that reading will inspire our business. Reading will help us become better. Um, we know this intuitively, but why can't we read? Like, why is it such a big struggle? So uh, I'm going to just riff. I got a few notes for you guys. Um, so for me, um, working backwards, I read early in the morning before my kids wake up. And I don't put any timer on how long I read. I might read for 10 minutes. I might read a couple pages. I might read an hour. Um, I just do it. And I I would encourage you to honestly, I mean, of course, think about like when, honestly, in your day that you might have a couple minutes to sit down and read. Um, but I want you to think about this. I want you to read when you're the most awake. So the most awake in your consciousness, in your body, um, like when is that moment where if you're going to start to read like deep philosophy or the book of the power of now, you know, if you can, or, or, or I, I was reading um, John Meacham's book on Abe Lincoln, highly recommend it. It was really good. Like when are you going to be like, oh my God, and start to consume the content and be so involved in that book? Um, I want you to be awake, cautious, like lit, ready to be lit up by that book. Um, because I know that reading, um, we cannot do it when we're tired, when we can't do it at the end of the day as if it's a checklist. So if you want to read more books, you've got to get out of that mindset that the book is another thing to do. No, it's not. It's like the thing you do when you're the most awake and the most conscious, because that's when you're going to start to make all these connections between what you're reading and how do you bring it into your business? How do you bring it into more congruence with yourself out in the world? Um, and the other part of that is that if you 
don't are you're not awake or conscious or like alive when you're reading the book is not gonna feel good so if you're not feeling good when you're reading if you're not you know in that loving energy with what you're reading so like if you're reading something because you should do it you have to do it or maybe it's a business book and you want to read like more technical skills about your business like that's cool for like learning technical stuff but i'm just actually talking about books that you want to read just I, I would just say you just want to read more then pick the stuff that you want to read about like i loved reading john meacham's book on abe lincoln like it seemingly had nothing to do with my work and yet i was like da, 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 getting all these breakthroughs and i loved abe and i loved the story and I, like you know it was just unbelievable so i want you to honestly i don't care what you read just go and like go go read what you want to read like what interests you nothing just please stop like reading more fucking books on technical skills for your industry it's boring no read the power now if that's up your alley um because that's what's going to get you to just read because you love reading rather than i have a goal to read i need to read this stupid book okay you guys following me good okay um and what was my last point i just wanted to give you a couple points um you as a reader um, that part of us where we're learning and we're growing just for ourselves is probably one of the most important things that we can be doing. I don't believe that people say they don't like to read. I believe that if you say that, honestly, and I, I, I say it with a kind heart, that you don't like to read because you were forced to read things in school. You were forced to comprehend things that you didn't understand. You were you just honestly reading is a big component of like the traditional education system, which is great. But we often didn't have the freedom to pick our books that are interesting to us. And so you might have a block about reading because it's coming from the things you should do. I want you to just really check in to say, look, you are a reader. You can be a voracious reader. You can also, also become um, that person if you haven't been them before. Um, so I invite you to go and let yourself run around the bookstore. I'd love you to go to a real bookstore um, or um, download um uh, people have reading lists. Um, I know like the Daily Stoic, uh, Ryan Holiday has got a really cool reading list that ex crosses like so many different genres. Like go get some advice from people on where to start. Uh, so Daily Stoic is good. I know Oprah's got a reading list. Um, a bunch of others. Ask me like if you're into what I kind of think what I would read. I would I send book recommendations, you know, out all the time. Um, and just think about, okay, well, let me get a book and, and let me sit down when I'm awake and I'm feeling good and no pressure to read a lot. Then just let me crack open a couple pages of uh, Eckhart Tolle, see where we go with it. Let me know what you think about this, um, what comes up for you, because uh, for, for you to carve out that time and space to sit alone, read a book, have a coffee, reflect, um, it has a greater spiritual significance in your life. It's it's going to connect you back to you. You might have that space and clarity to open up and maybe get ideas and hits for your life and your business whilst you're reading. Um, and so my last tip would be to have a little journal next to you, not your phone. Handwrite, just your ideas, your breakthroughs, stuff coming out. Let your brain dump and then get back to your book. And 30 days, that's all I'd ask. 30 days of just consistently grabbing your book and reading when you're most awake Read a book that you just want to read that seems really cool. And I promise you, you will become a reader. Okay? So let me know what comes up from this episode. Maybe your next step would be to find that book um, and carve out the time this weekend to do that. Lots of love.